items used will be listed in the description below. Starting out, I'll use my E6000 to glue this crystal knob onto the lid. Apply enough glue to make sure that you get a really good hold. Make sure that the knob is centered, press it down, then put it aside to let it cure. Later I'll come back and add tape to make sure I create a really strong bond between the two pieces. I finally found some of the Dollar Tree mirror tile. I'm going to use three rows of the mirror tile and there will be six tiles on each row. I folded the tile to create a crease and then I'll use a utility knife to cut it. Once you cut the tile, remove the backing and then add the tile to your glass. Be sure to take your time and try to put it on as straight as possible. Make sure to press all pieces firmly against the glass. To give it a more finished look, I'm going to add a bling wrap border around the mirrors. Measure the bling by laying it against the mirror, cut it, and then after all four pieces are cut, use hot glue to glue them in place. After you're done, you'll have your mirror label. Now glue three rows of bling around the top of your jar and again I'll be using my hot glue to glue it in place. Once you're done, your jar should look like this. I'm going to add three rows around the bottom as well. But for some reason, it was really hard to keep it straight. So this time I'm going to use some fix-all along with the hot glue. The fix-all will allow me to adjust the bling if I need to. This is a really fast and easy craft. So now all we need to do is glue this to the base. And again, I'll be using my E6000 to glue the candle holder onto the jar. Flip the jar upside down. Attach the candle holder. Add some type of weight on top of the candle holder to create a strong bond between the two pieces and then let it dry overnight. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to add some tape to the lid and the knob as well. I waited to add the tape now because I wanted to allow the glue to become tacky and by doing that I'll have a stronger bond between the two pieces. Now put the lid aside to dry overnight as well. Now on to the second jar. As you can see the lid to this jar comes with a handle but I'm not going to use this lid. I actually purchased an additional jar like the first DIY so that I can make a matching lid for this jar. Starting out, I'll use two rows of bling to decorate the top of this jar, just like I did the jar in the first DIY. I forgot to mention that this jar has a line on each side, so make sure that you start adding your bling in the middle of those lines because you don't want that line in the front of your jar. Now glue on your mirror tile just like we did before. Make sure to have it centered and straight. As you can see I've already glued on the border just like I did before in the first DIY. I decided that the candle holder needed some bling as well so I glued on four rows of bling and again I used a hot glue, glued it in place and then use some E6000 to glue the base onto the jar. Again, I flipped it upside down, added weight, and let it sit overnight. If you decide to use the lid from the round jar, just add some bling around the very top and you'll be done. There will be a complete list of the items used in this DIY in the description below. Starting out, I'm going to use my E6000 to glue eight of these silver square beads that I purchased from Michaels onto my Dollar Tree plate. Now Dollar Tree carries square beads as well and they come in white I believe, but keep in mind you can always paint them into any color you desire. I started out by gluing two beads across from each other and at the halfway point between those beads I glued two additional beads across from each other. Once those are done, add a bead between each set of beads. 
When you're done, you'll have eight beads total, but feel free to add as many beads as you want. Press each bead firmly against the plate. Allow the beads to get tacky. Add tape for a more secure bond. Now let's decorate the fish bowl that'll be the center of our cake stand. Starting out, I'm going to use some E6000 along with some hot glue to glue some of my flower bling in place. And I'm going to use eight strips of this flower bling. And I'm going to glue it on in the same way that I did the plate. I'm going to cut eight strips, glue one piece on, a piece across from it, a piece in the middle, a piece across from that, and so on. When all eight strips are attached, the bowl should look like this. The next step is to add three diamonds between each set of the bling and I'll start out by gluing the very first diamond in the center. This time I'll only be using hot glue because it really works well with holding the diamonds in place. I'll then glue a diamond above and below the center diamond. And here's what it looked like with three diamonds in place. I'll glue on the remaining diamonds. Come back and let you guys see what it looks like. Here's our completed bowl and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Now it's time to decorate the base to our cake stand. I'll start out by gluing some flower bling around the top of the glass. Just like before, I'll be using some E6000 along with some hot glue to glue the bling in place. Now decorate the bottom of the glass using more flower bling and acrylic diamonds. When gluing on the acrylic diamonds, space them out. Do not glue them next to each other. Use your flower bling as a guide to evenly space your diamonds as seen here. Continue to add the acrylic diamonds until you've gone all the way around the glass. Now add another row of flower bling on top of the diamond. Once you're done, your base should look like this. You can add more diamonds and more flower bling if you want, but I'm happy with how this looks. Apply a strong adhesive to the top of the base. Again, I'm using E6000. Flip your bowl over along with the base. Attach the two pieces. Apply a weight on top, then let the glue dry for about four hours. After about four hours, I apply E6000 to the very top of my bowl. I then flipped it over and glued it to the bottom of my plate. I made sure that it was centered, added weight, then let it sit for 24 hours. When all three pieces have bonded together, you should have something that looks like this. Now it's time to attach the pendants. The pendants come attached to three beads. So I'm adding an additional five beads to each pendant for a total of eight beads in all. Now simply open the jump ring and attach it to the bead. I forgot to mention that you can also add a rhinestone to the outside of the bead to cover up the letter. Now attach the remaining pendants to the rest of the beads. Once you're done, your cake stand should look like this. I decided to add some string lights to the bottom of the base to light it up, and I simply just took some string lights, wrapped it around this Mod Podge bottle, and then put the lights inside the base, turned the lights on, and I was done with my second DIY. 
So here's video and pictures of my first and second DIY. I really love them both, but I think my glam apothecary jars are my favorite. The crystal knobs really did take the jars to a new level. They made the jars look glamorous and elegant. The cake stand turned out beautiful as well. Adding the chandelier pendants, the flower bling, and the acrylic diamonds really makes this piece look expensive. If you're interested in recreating this DIY, please understand that you can use a larger plate platter to accommodate a larger cake. Okay everyone, this concludes my DIY and if you liked it, please remember to thumbs it up and if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe now. I would truly love to have you join my YouTube family. Also, don't forget to comment your favorite DIY in the comments below and if you made it this far, leave a diamond emoji in the comment section as well. Alright guys, see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.